Welcome to Wealth Creation Investing's Friday Market Wrap-Up. Matthew Buckley, the Chief Investment Strategist here at WCI, and had an awesome week this week. What do you mean uh, the market was down this week? Absolutely, and we made money in a lot of our model portfolios. Hey, real quick, before we knock out our Friday Market Wrap-Up, make sure you get your seat right now for our live trading summit. It's going to be the end of October, October, exactly a month from today, October 27th and 28th in Hollywood, Florida just south of beautiful Fort Lauderdale here. It's going to be an action-packed two days. Sunday is going to be a full day of live training. Going to have a nice VIP cocktail hour and dinner that night. And then next day, Monday, we're going to get hit it hard with some live trading. Uh, Cliff Bennett, Gareth Fay from Market Tamer, Doug Robertson from TGO, myself, a bunch of folks. Lay it nice uh, summon of 500-pound heads. You're going to get to interact with your fellow uh, WCI and TGO uh, traders. So make sure you, uh, you you click on the banner on our homepage to, uh, to get started here. Uh, very interesting numbers today, folks. Uh, we saw some inflation numbers, and eh, really don't care about it. Personal spending uh, flat, okay. Uh, personal spending flat, eh, okay. Kind of to be expected, just knowing the consumer out there. Look at this. Personal income uh, was a miss, okay. And University of Michigan consumer sentiment, this was revised for September, uh, came in a lot lower than expected. Now. If you don't watch WCI that often or Topkin Options, you probably look at uh, ridiculous headlines like this on Bloomberg. Consumer spending in U.S. climbs 0.3% as incomes pick up. Uh, really? Um, and then over here at Reuters, U.S. consumer sentiment slips in September. So, uh, again, folks, you have to look at the data and use your own brain housing group or join us here at WCI or Topkin Options so we can interpret it uh, for you. Personal income rose to 0.3%. That, that, really? It came in flat. Yeah, I guess if the last time it was 0.2% and now we're at 0.3%, I, I guess that's a little bit of a, of a rise. But actually, it, it came in in line, and in line was weak. And personal income came in as a miss and consumer sentiment. This is a bad, okay, folks? And and that's why this market is indicating down right now. We're down 70 on the Dow and, you know, 6, 7 on the on the spoos. But take a look at this portfolio. Look at this. Nice, uh, what's that, $1,300 gain on an uh, SPX bear call spread, a weekly options. And then this iron condor on Apple, full uh, $2,300 uh, gain on this one. It'll be $2,400 here by the by the time the market closed. So check this out. On two trades, folks, two trades, maximum risk was about $10,000. If all hell went to, uh, the world went to hell in a handbasket, we made in this portfolio 3500 bucks on two trades. That's a 35% return in about four days, four and a half days. That's discipline. That's risk management. That's superior execution. That's a, that's a hell of a week. Two trades, 3500 bucks uh, on $10,000 uh, of risk. Very happy uh, with that. Uh, in the uh, This is why we hate Wall Street segment of our Friday market wrap-up, uh, Thorsten Heinz, the guy who runs BlackBerry. Here's what happens when you become the commanding officer of a ship on Wall Street uh, or you know, a CEO of a company in, uh, in this world, uh, and you drive it onto the rocks and sink it. You get a $55 million golden parachute. So a result of driving that thing into the dirt, he gets 55 million bucks, folks. In the United States Navy, as the commanding officer of a ship, if you ran that thing aground, you got fired. And you lost your pension and, and everything else. And, and, and you're out mowing lawns. Wall Street, eh. $55 million golden parachute for driving uh, a... Uh, company into the ground. Uh, find the Wall Street Journal today, folks, and read a Peggy Noonan article, a small president on the world stage. Really sums up kind of how I felt this week watching uh, the president at the United Nations and Lucy with the football, the no Iranian president just, you know, pulling it out of way at Charlie Brown. Uh, we really are a diminished uh, world. Not that I, I feel the United States should be some world power walking down Main Street, like, you know, or whatever doesn't stink. However, now it's just kind of over. All of our friends on the world stage just kind of, they're shaking their heads like, wow, what a shame. What a shame what's happened in the United States that, that we've kind of just slowly rolled over and, and we're sinking and, and we're going downhill uh, pretty big. We want American leadership, said a member of a diplomatic delegation of a major U.S. ally. He said softly, as if confiding he missed an old friend. Uh, so do we, sir. 
we uh, we really miss our old friend. We miss the old United States where we can actually be proud to call ourselves uh, this country. Now we got Obamacare. We, we're running towards a socialist system that's just going to implode uh, and fall on top of us. Uh, from the Postal Service to Amtrak to Fannie to Freddie to Social Security to Medicare to Medicaid, I want you to find me one government program that actually uh, works and isn't full of fraud, deceit, cost overruns. Um, but here we go. Off the cliff, folks. Uh, and, of course, the media is excoriating the Republicans for trying to put a stop to the decline of our nation. But they're the party of no, and they push grandma off the cliff in their wheelchair because they're not going to get her Social Security checks and everything like that. So just stand by for a very volatile next couple of weeks. I know I'm ready for it, and our model portfolio is here at Wealth Creation uh, with options and uh, Topkin options. Uh, we have large bets on volatility. Look at this. The VIX is up 7 8% today. We have bullish double verticals on the VIX. And we have bullish double verticals on SDS, the ProShares Ultra Short S&P 500 trades that are looking great today. We put on a couple days ago that are up a couple grand a piece, betting that this the, the stupidity in Washington is going to result in some market volatility. So I'm, that's why I'm in a great mood, folks. It was a horrible week for for many of you trying to trade this market and, and see what's going on and trying to figure it out. We know exactly what's going on here at Wealth Creation Investing because we think strategically, we look operationally, and then and then only then do we put on tactics that support that operational mindset. Okay. So again, if you're interested in trading weekly options and seeing potential gains of uh, you know 3,500 bucks on two trades in a week, uh, click on the link uh, in this email and you can get airborne on a uh, on a two-week test flight of the weekly option service because it is going to be a very very interesting couple of weeks and if you're not ready for it you're going to get absolutely obliterated okay well have a great weekend i am off saturday night to uh, argentina i'm giving a speech to buenos uh, in buenos aires to direct tv latin america and then after that speech i'm hopping on a plane and heading out to, uh, to tokyo to work with the uh, macquarie group one of the uh, largest financial firms in the world but uh, very big over in asia uh, so i'm going to be uh, where as well doing it uh uh, all next week. So uh, I'll be uh, I'll be coming to you from around the globe. Make sure you check in for Monday's Market Outlook here at Wealth Creation Investing and then uh, the daily sit reps over at Top Gun Options. Have a great week. Happy hunting and I'll make sure you hedge.